wants us as catechists to be what he calls missionary disciples. It's a very grand title, really. When I grew up, I didn't imagine calling myself a disciple. But in fact, he calls all of the church to that title. But it's very pertinent, it's very real for those of us who step into the breach and have a go at giving an account for the reason for the hope that we have. You know, we're, we're trying to explain to people what our faith means to us. Well, what is a missionary disciple? St John Paul II gives us a, a great description. He says, to teach doesn't just mean imparting what we know, but it also means, as he puts it, revealing who we are by living what we believe. It's an amazing sentence. To reveal who we are by living what we believe. You know, I'm quite sure now that my kids are 24, 22 and 20, they're reflecting a little bit, not on what I said to them, but on who I was as their dad. And in many respects, people come to the faith more by who we were than by what we said. I remember in the school I taught in, that we had a little module just before they left. Uh, they were all 16 and we, we did a, a short seminar on relationships and life. And the English department talked a little bit about romance in poetry and the science department looked at reproduction and we looked at the ethics and morality of family life. And we put that together in a six week programme but at the end of it, we came to a session where they were invited to ask really honest questions. And I remember quite often saying to the young people, so tell me, uh, what are your real questions? And I remember one young man, he'd be about 16, he, he put his hands up and he said, sir. And he said, at the time, you and your girlfriend? And I said, yeah. He said, do you? And he just stared at me. And I said, Paul, do me and my girlfriend, what do you mean? And he said, sir, you know what I mean. Now here was his real question, see. He was saying to me, and all of us in a way, sir, I can write what Keats said about Madeline in his poetry and past English, I can label diagrams of the reproductive organs and past biology. And sir, by the way, I can actually say what the church teaches about fidelity and pass RE. But, sir, do you believe this stuff that you're giving out? You see, he was looking for a witness. For catechists, that witness is vital. So we can't just teach what we know, but we have to be vulnerable to it and truly share who we are because there's something in our vulnerability and in not knowing all the answers and in our doubt and perplexity that can teach them too. Otherwise, we become what Pope Francis says is too idealistic and people can't reach for what we stand for. We have to be truly human. Now here's the thing. I remember on one occasion finding myself on the receiving end of a rather critical letter from a parent and the letter said, you know, you told our son off and it wasn't him. And I went into the staff room and I found a colleague and I said, this letter, 
you know, I'm a new teacher, what do I do with that? And he just said, oh, I'll throw it in the bin. He said, I get loads of those. And I thought, I can't do that. So the next day, with the class, I said, Simon, I told you off yesterday in front of everybody, but it appears I was wrong. So in front of everybody, I'm just saying, sorry. I have to tell you, and I didn't do it for this reason, that their appreciation of me increased. It didn't decrease. There's something about making mistakes, being human, being vulnerable, that's part of all this. A missionary disciple doesn't just teach, but they reveal who they are by living what they believe. Try it. It's more fun. So, take a look at the quote. It's followed by a couple of questions. You know what to do. Thank you.